co-CEOs, Rick Williams and John Addison. I remember when John and Rick first took over in 2000, and it kind of brought everybody together. We all gelled again. It was like John and Rick were, were one of us. John and Rick were the perfect people uh, to take over the company at the time they did. I think the company was so ready for John's leadership, incredible positive attitude, his motivation. You know, at the very beginning of the co-CEO relationship, we had to explain a lot how two co-CEOs could coexist, especially two that are as different as Rick and John. I think the biggest thing about the John and Rick dynamic duo is you had Rick kind of the brains behind the operation and always in the background and then John was out there in front waving his arms and you know moving and motivating the sales force and and the interesting thing is the passion that both of them have. And you gotta jump in and you gotta get in the game. We had gone through a time period when uh, there were a lot of different CEOs coming down uh, to run the business. Uh, they didn't really understand the company. Uh, they never really identified with uh, our field force. And uh, having gone through a difficult time period, John and I developed a bond, a relationship. So then when we took over, it, it was easy for us to run the company together because we had a relationship that had been nurtured and developed. A lot has to do with our personalities uh, and the history of who we are. Rick's a special person. Number one, Rick's brilliant. People say that, but Rick really is brilliant. Rick grew up on a dairy farm. I uh, grew up milking cows, baling hay, and basically working my tail off. Uh, I was very motivated to get off the farm. I knew that was not a life for me, and did well in school, and was uh, lucky to go to an Ivy League school, and then get an MBA from a top school as well. Janet and I met in grad school, both two highly ambitious professionals. She went off to investment banking. She's also a warm and caring mother. We have two boys. Adam works for the company now, and David just received his master's in secondary education at Vanderbilt. After getting my MBA, I went to work for American Can Company in the mergers and acquisitions department, buying companies. Pencor Financial was the third company we bought. They had Milico, a life insurance company that had a relationship with Art and A.O. Williams, and that was my first introduction. I fell in love with the business. I grew up in Covington, Georgia. It was almost Mayberry. I had a great childhood. My parents were insistent that I was going to go to college. When I graduated from the University of Georgia, I had zero clue what I wanted to do. Got hired with a life insurance company called Life of Georgia. I was going to be starting in January of 83, working on my MBA. And so I decided I wanted to find a job that fall of 82 closer to our apartment. By then, Love Ann and I were married. We have two great boys. Both work with Primerica. Kyle works in our IT area. And then Tyler just got out of law school working in state government relations. So both my boys are in the Primerica family. I saw an ad, rapidly growing insurance company, and interviewed with Bo Adams, and got hired. By the time I finished my MBA in 88, I was a vice president of the company, and the company was growing and doing great. Then when Art was gone suddenly, and we had everybody show up, it was during that time that I really developed my relationship with Rick. John is probably the most caring, kind person that I know. He, what drives John is helping people. Rick is in many ways kind of my brother. You know, one of the people I count the most on in life and not being involved with Rick, it, in my opinion, would be unacceptable in my life. He's a wonderful motivator, a phenomenal speaker. Uh, he's an intuitive decision maker. Our business is a people business, uh, and uh, John understands people. Rick's just a good guy, and he and I have developed a very unique relationship that's far deeper than being co-CEOs of Primerica. Without John and Rick's leadership, uh, this company would be in a 
much different place today. Just can't put into words what, what they've meant to me personally and what they've meant to this company. Even in the depths of everything's falling apart, city stock falling apart, the world falling apart, frankly, financially, Rick and John were focused on absolutely one thing, what's the right place for Primerica to be. And we started the process of getting an IPO done, worked on it like crazy through the year 07, and then a meteor hit the earth and everything began to crumble. We really felt like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Every time we would pick up a crystal skull, another boulder would fall on us. And, but we knew we had a responsibility. If this company was not to exist, um, it, I, the harm that it would do uh, is uh, incredible. Um, so whatever it took, we, we were in it to make it work. People don't actually see what Rick does. And, and without Rick, this would not have happened. Would not have happened at all. Rick literally put his career on the line to move this thing forward, and that's something that everybody at Primerica for years to come, generations, will owe a debt of gratitude to, to the strength and intensity and the will of, of Rick Williams. So many false starts, so many fights and battles. It was a chaotic time, a lot of ups and downs, um, very emotional time. At every step of the way, never were willing to throw in the towel. It was about 3.30 in the morning, and Rick and I were kind of going back and forth between different topics, and Rick started talking to me, and he goes, oh, I can't believe it's finally happened. I've lost my phone. And I said, Rick, you're talking to me on your phone. And we both died laughing because it was a great moment. You know, what those two leaders did for us was just truly remarkable, incredible, and I would say miraculous. And to have had the honor, the honor to be responsible for getting this company to a safe harbor is something I don't care if I live to be a hundred, that I'll never forget it. I can't imagine ever doing anything business-wise that significant again. Freedom! Being on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange when, when PRI finally began to trade after all the delays, it was an out-of-body experience. For me, it was a moment of elation and then a moment of dread because I knew we had to deliver. And I said, Rick, this doesn't happen every day. You, you need to just think about this day because we'll probably never have a day like this again. While Rick and John are great business leaders, the thing that I'm the most proud of is I've had the opportunity to know them personally, to spend time with them, and I am very blessed to be able to call Rick and John my friends. If I had described John with one word, it'd be tough. Churchill tough. Uh, think back to this quote all the time, you know, that Winston Churchill said when he said there comes a special moment in every person's life when you're presented with that opportunity and if you're smart enough and you're good enough and you're tough enough to recognize it and take advantage of it, then that's your finest hour. And Rick and John met that moment. To accomplish what they had to accomplish, to stabilize this company, so that the dream could stay alive for millions of families across America. The contribution they made was unparalleled. What they did for my family in our future will never ever be able to repay them. Those 15 years went by like that, but when I look back, they were probably the best 15 years of my career that we had them as co-CEOs of this company. I'm part of Primerica and always will be. And John was a critical component of that. I, I would never have stayed here as long without uh, the friendship that John and I have had. There's no way I'd be where I'm at if I hadn't met Rick Williams. It's been a real honor to be beside them, but even a greater honor to call them friends. My proudest moment was when we named Glenn CEO. That validated all the work that we've done. Everything that we've done is going to go on and get better. 
and it was such an honor for Karen and me uh, to be the recipients of the torch that was passed and to serve in this role as leaders of this company. Glenn may be one of the most honorable people I've ever known in my life. I have no doubt that the success he's gonna bring to this company is gonna exceed anything that Rick and I did. One team, one dream, that's my heart's desire. When we all pull together, we're reaching higher each time we try. Team.